Hi hey guys, Coder Byte, uh, sitting students, another Coder Challenge, medium uh, difficulty. Uh, this challenge will determine how many different ways students can sit next to each other. That's kind of real world problem. So yeah, let's start. Oh, so uh, have the function setting students uh, read the array of integers stored in array which will be following format. K and after that R1 I believe is it. Where K represent numbers of desk in the classroom. Okay. And the rest integers in array will be sorted order and will be presented to desks that already occupy it. All the desk will be arranged in column two, where the number one desk uh, top left, number two top right, uh, below, below, below. Your program should return number of two uh, of ways two students can be seated next to each other. It means one student is on the left, one student on the right, uh, directly above each. So, for example, we have twelve have 6, 2, 6, 7, 11. So let's see what it means. 12, I guess it's just total. Okay, I got it. So we have 2, 6, 7, 11. Okay, basic uh, uh, arrangement of, of occupied desk. There are a lot of six ways to sit. Uh, two new students and uh, next to each other. The combination are one, two, three, three, two, four, uh, one, two, three. I didn't get this one, but yeah, uh, ten to twelve. Okay, okay. Uh, the, uh, Right, so and again, k will range from 2 to 24, and after k, the number of uh, occupied desk in the array can be from 0 to k. So, yeah, let's take a look what we have. So, for example, we have 6 and 4, uh, so output is 4, input f4, uh, another input uh, 8, 1, 8. Uh, uh, output will be 6. Okay, let's see what we can do here. It's kind of not, not quite trivial to understand what's happening. So again, we can solve this problem uh, by iterating over each desk and checking if the two desks Uh, so, so, uh, yeah, checking two desks. Again, we can check if the desk occupied sorry, by using the array include method. So let's see some implementation here. Yeah, let's run. Oh, we got five, but we need it. Again, let's run it. V6 should get 4, but got 5. Interesting. So that didn't work out. Let's let's go through the code. Okay, so we got another implementation here. So we got the array. We're just getting the first one. Uh, so describe it. Uh, occupy it. So we'll have a new set here. Slice it. Uh, we slice the array with all elements out there. So after that, we'll have the loop. Again, we're checking, we will check to the right, we'll check the, uh, also below. So we'll go uh, through the, again, through the whole loop of all possible uh, cases out there. Again, uh, existing cases are correct. Let's, let's go with submission. Okay, and we got it. So we have all output uh, correct. So we're good with this implementation. And again, 
set it definitely takes a surprise that it even takes like half an hour for people even like going through details it takes sometimes but yeah and uh, now we got it so again it was sitting student challenge uh, again javascript if you need another language just let me know in comments and again thank you for watching and see you next one